So uh, Thessalonians is written by the Apostle Paul. Uh, we know Saul and his conversion in the book of Acts. And a lot of theologians believe that the Thessalonians is actually one of his first writings uh, in about 50, 51 AD. Uh, and what you see here is kind of a, a model of Paul. Uh, he's writing to a church that he founded. So you're going to hear a lot of language that's about uh, him being like a spiritual father and them being children. And he's not really talking down to them. He's just saying, man, I helped found your church. I was in your city. I reached you. Um, and so what you find here is then what, what theologians call paranesis. It's really exhortation, right? So he's a spiritual father exhorting his spiritual children to good works. He does this in three ways. And this is from uh, a theologian uh, called um, Luke Timothy Johnson, a great writer on Paul. And he says there's three things that Paul does. One, he does memory. So he reminds them of where they came from. You see a lot of that at the beginning of, of almost every epistle. The second thing is that he models. So he says, uh, would we know Paul saying, follow me as I follow Christ, right? There's a model of how to do something and then how to follow that person. Or here's how you do it so the next generation can do it. Uh, and then there's maxims, which what everybody likes reading Paul because of maxims. And maxims are these, they're, they're those tweetable statements. They're those statements that are like, they just stick in your head, how to please God. Some people call it dogma. Uh, really those statements that push you closer to your relationship with God. And so those are kind of what you see in Thessalonians and a lot of other epistles that Paul writes.